Hi everybody, Stu Sheldon here. Uh, I have to apologize for not doing any posts to either my blog or my YouTube channel. I just, I haven't had much time. And as you can see, this particular video that I'm doing is being done on a uh, cell phone. And uh, certainly this is not going to be very much of a production great video. But I just had to get this uh, up on the air because I think it's really interesting. And, you know, if you're into uh, ham radio like I am, which, by the way, my call sign is AG6AG, you might find this really interesting, especially if you've been trying to get a uh, uh, rig set up or trying to get any kind of antenna set up. I'm hoping that this will be a bit of an education to you. Uh, and if not, I hope it'll be a demonstration of what you already know uh, just to confirm that because that's really what this did with me. So I had been out this weekend playing with some friends with uh, setting up antennas and I had my antenna analyzer out there and all sorts of other stuff. And when I, when I got back on uh, Saturday afternoon, I was pretty tired and I just wanted to toss this stuff in, uh, in the shop. So when I got in, I just tossed everything up on the table here. This is my conference table and headed off. And when I got back on Monday, I was talking with a friend of mine and happened to glance at uh, the stuff that we had on the table. And what I found was I had this beautiful, let me get an angle. You can see it, this beautiful antenna, which is basically a mag mount quarter wave antenna, um, it is uh, the antenna that I had on my station wagon for, oh, a little while, not a terribly long time. Um, and uh, it was uh, on there right after I'd gotten my license, actually, my uh, technician license. And uh, I then decided that uh, I wanted to go ahead and punch a hole in the roof of my car. So that's what I did. And uh, by doing that, I basically took this thing off and just set it off on the side. Well, with my antenna analyzer sitting right next to it, I thought, you know, what? A, I wonder how good I was at tuning antennas back then, because I did throw this on the car and tune it. So I went ahead and hooked everything up and turned on my MFJ uh, 269C, and I dialed it in for uh, two meters, center frequency. And if you've never used the MFJ, uh, over here at the top here, this is the frequency in megahertz. This is the first part of your SWR, standing wave ratio. You can see here it's 2.2 to 1, uh, which is high. This is the uh, impedance of the antenna. And over here, uh, I, now I was told that this was the X factor, which was the reactance, which um, actually... Uh, you get this down to zero, supposedly you're at resonance, but I I don't uh, I don't completely understand how the meter figures that out. So what we're really looking for is we're looking to get our SWR down to 1.0 to 1 in order to tune the antenna. And this is obviously out of tune at 2.1. Um, so the first step, at least what I learned in tuning an antenna, is you try to find the center frequency. So as I move up, I notice that my SWR is going up. We'll go ahead and move down. Well, it's coming down a little. That's way low. That's way out of frequency, actually. Um, so, yeah, and it's still, I'm not getting any place close to one-to-one -one on this. And so I said, oh, maybe it has something to do with the position of the antenna so I kind of set it back and I said well we'll move it let's move it over here we'll see if that does anything and and oh my god I said look at that look at that I mean that's 5.6 to 1 that's that's crazy that's way off can I get any lower and then I realized well yeah but wow look at that I'm way outside the amateur band and go the other direction and and interestingly enough, it's showing that it's only uh, 7 ohms impedance at zero resonance. So that got me thinking. And I said, well, all right. Oh, duh, right? It's a 
it's a quarter wave antenna. It's a ground plane antenna. I'm supposed to have a ground plane on this. This is supposed to have something on the bottom of it that's metal that'll help it radiate. So I went looking around and I found this old Dell um, computer side. And I said, let's see what happens if I just pop it onto the center. Wow, what a difference. Look at that. We're down to 1.5. Now, that's, that's not perfect, but that's good. That's usable. So I tried to find my center. And yeah, it's a little... So the lower frequency you go, the longer the antenna has to be to be resonant. So as I go up here, well, I'm getting down, but boy, I'm outside my range now. Look at that. If I go to the top range here, which is about 148, it's good, but still, I should be able to get this in perfect, you know. Um, so I went back to you know, it should be, I'm thinking, centered someplace around 146. And then that got me thinking again, okay, so what is it about the way I have this antenna that could be affecting that? And I thought, well, I'm inside, but, you know, it's two meters, and yeah, it shouldn't matter that I'm inside. And then I started to think, well, all right, so ground plane is supposed to be a quarter wave radius around the center of the antenna, or at least the uh, bottom half should be a quarter wave that can be angled or whatever. And I'm not even close to a quarter wave at 146 megahertz. I mean, quarter wave at 146 megahertz is someplace around, oh, 1920 inches, something like that. Uh, anyway, so I said, well, let me try this. I'll push this all the way to the edge. That'll give me a longer ground plane. Went over to my meter. Look at that. 1.0 to 1. Absolutely perfect. Zero. So it means that there's no reactants whatsoever. Or, uh, uh, reactants. It's all resonant at this point. So it's all resistive. That is a perfectly tuned antenna. Now, when I was studying for my license, they always made it really clear that you really have to know this stuff about the antenna. So most of us that are amateur radio operators learn this stuff and then promptly forget it after we do the test. Um, we buy pre-built antennas that they say are going to be resonant and we just believe it. But you can see we have a resonant antenna here that when not properly installed any place, wasn't resonant at all, and could have actually damaged our radio. Um, something interesting about this too, one of my colleagues shared with me, that since this comes down and goes off like this, and there's no area back there, that this antenna is actually now directional in that direction, or towards the ground plane. So anyway, I wanted to share that with you guys. Um, for most of you, I hope this was just a demonstration of proof of concept. Uh, for the people that don't believe that uh, this stuff is important, well, you know what? It's your radio to burn up. So I hope this serves you well, and thank you for taking the time. From Stu, AG6AG, we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye now.